This is a common joystick called a VSI joystick. It's common on a lot of older chairs. Uh, what we're going to do today is we are going to show you uh, the different fault codes and then also how to lock and unlock the joystick. So the first thing I will show you is I will show you how to lock and unlock the joystick. So what you're going to do is when your power is on, you're going to hold the power button down for one to two seconds until you hear it beep. Once it beeps, you push the joystick forward till it beeps, and then you hold it in reverse till it beeps. And then it makes that loud beep and turns off. Now what you're going to see when you turn it back on, you're going to see your lights begin to scroll back and forth. That is in the lock position. So how you unlock the joystick now that you're in this position, you hold the joystick forward till it beeps, then you hold it in reverse till it beeps, and then you let go, and now you are unlocked. Now this joystick has different fault codes, and so what we're going to show you is uh, what they mean. So what we have on here is a VSI. Your fault codes are all based off your top bar of lights here. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but you have three reds, four yellows, and three greens. And what's going to happen is they're going to flash. It's however many total lights are flashing is what the fault code is. So for example, if I was to take this chair and put it in neutral, um, which I'm going to do, you will see that your lights are starting to flash. And now that you actually have nine flashing lights, nine flashing lights means your park brakes have a bad connection. So you could have bad park brakes, but most typically when you see nine flashing lights on a lot of chairs, the issue is your chair is in neutral. For some reason, somebody put it in neutral so they could push the chair around and never engage the motors. So what I'm going to do is when your chair is in neutral, you want to put your chair back into gear and you always need to turn the power off and turn it back on to reset it. If you have one flashing light, it's typically your batteries are low and need to be replaced. If you have two flashing lights, it's your left motor has a bad connection. So you want to check to make sure your motor's plugged in and that the, that the connection is not corroded. Uh, the, if you have three flashing lights, it's you have a short circuit. So most likely with three flashing lights, the joist the motor is going to have to be replaced. Four is a bad right motor connection. So you want to check it, make sure there's no corrosion, make sure it's plugged in. Five means the motor has a short. So most likely with five, you're going to have to replace the right motor. Seven flashing lights on VSIs mean the joystick is a bad joystick. Now on a VSI, which is different than a lot of more standard chairs nowadays, is the brain box is integrated into this joystick. So if you have an eight flashing lights, it's telling you you have a bad brain box, control box, uh, there's different terms for it. But on a VSI, seven or eight flashing lights, you have to replace this joystick. And nine is you have bad park brakes. 10 is very rare, you rarely ever see it, but it's saying you have excess voltage applied to the controller. And I've never seen it happen before, but that is the 10th flashing light. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-677. 6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com